Hey guys, welcome back. This video, we're going to be going into some more on the switch statement and just talking about some different tips I got for you guys. So a couple videos ago, we talked about this switch statement where we basically get the input of how many slices of pizza someone ate and then we judge their diet to make them feel bad about it um, in the uh, case to follow, <laughs> in the switch to follow, I should say. And basically, I wanted to talk about some other things. So if you remember from a long, 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 long time ago, I talked about how characters were directly translatable to integers. And in fact, they're one to one, essentially, because off of the ASCII table, every number has some integer. So to see that, what we can do is we can print a number as a type character. So, for example, using the, the uh, C for the conversion character, we could pass in the number 65 and see how it prints as a, as a character. And I'm also going to do a couple new lines just so you can see it clearly. Okay. So you can see that this outputted the value A because on the ASCII table, A is directly convertible to 65. And with a switch statement, you can use any data type that's directly convertible to an integral data type or in something of type int. And the three are, are integers, characters, and enumerations, which I don't think we've talked about. An enumeration is basically a, a data type that allows you to choose from various options. And uh, that's not something we're going to get into right now. We're just going to focus on characters, but just want to be clear that because characters are directly convertible to integers, you can use them for switch statements. So for example, I could say switch, and the thing we're going to be testing on is, well, I guess I should make a variable, and v equals v, creative I know, right? And we can switch on that variable. And then the cases, you could use you could use the numbers. I don't know what V is, so let's just go with capital A. Um, and we could say switch on V. I'm just gonna change it all, you know, make it easier. Case, and let's say the value is, you can either use the character, so for example, case that it's A, then you can do something, or you can use the numeric equivalent. So I could use case 65 here, because that is, the equivalent for A. And don't you forget that break statement. Um, and you can see it does hit that case because the value of A is most definitely A. <laughs> but just the same, you could do this and that'll work the same way. And it works. So that was my first tip, is that you can use a switch statement for character data. The second tip that I have is that you can actually have multiple cases for one section of code. So I'm gonna go to the pizza example that we have below because we already have a, a nice switch written out for us. So let's get rid of all this stuff. So let's say, in this dieting app, anything under three pieces of pizza, or three or under, let's go with that, anything three or under is considered good, which, you know, that's, in my diet app, it seems pretty good. <laughs> so what, what we're going to do is instead of having these different options for one, two, and three, we're just going to say you did a, uh, a decent job. Or we're just going to say a good job. So anything three or under is good in this diet case, um, in this diet app. What we can do is we can just get rid of these other blocks and just have them all as one like such. So let me X out of this and compile. How many pizza slices you eat? And if we put one, you did a good job. And it says you had 250 calories. If I do the same thing and I put two, it says you did a good job. You ate, had 500 calories. And lastly, if I put three, you did a good job. You had 750 calories. So the main thing I wanted to show you here is that you don't always have to have the same line of code repeated. 
Because if you wanted, if you couldn't do this and you wanted to say you did a good job, you would have to take these two lines of codes and paste them for case one and case two, which in this case, <laughs> pun intended, you're not going to have to do that because you could just put them for case three. So I think that was basically everything I had to say. Um, so hopefully that was helpful for you guys and helps you get a little bit more familiar with the switch statement. Thank you guys and please be sure to subscribe and also check out the description because I have a, a link for a C programming crash course which is basically all the content in this video series condensed into one really awesome package. <laughs> so check it out. See you guys.